I'm ready for the best of 2023. Like when you use this, you can see a clear difference the very next day. Beautiful for acne prone skin. If you're planning to buy a device, don't buy it yet. They are one of the best quality that I've tried. When you take it off, your skin literally feels like there's a filter. I feel like this is a champion of bulk sheet mask. Where are my soul sisters? Let me hear ya flow, sister. Hello my unicorns, how are you? I know you guys missed my intro song. I've been forgetting to do that. It's been a long time. So welcome back to my channel. I know that in 2023, we have discovered so many great, amazing products. And of course we continued on using our favorites as well. I have everything here. I'm ready for the best of 2023. I feel like this video, to be honest, is really hard and challenging sometimes to choose a product because it's December, man. I don't even remember what I ate yesterday for lunch. You know what I'm saying? Like, how am I gonna remember like what product I love that I have to choose one out of the 12 freaking months. This is just to let you know that I do have maybe one or more products for each category. So yes, hope you guys enjoy. Let's get started. All right, first things first, cleansers. I feel like with cleansers, it's a category that I absolutely love. I like trying new things, you know what I'm saying? We are bold when it comes to cleansers. For the very first cleansers, I think I stuck with cleansing oils a lot. Instead of using balms, I think I did did stick with cleansing oils and uh, milk cleansers as well, cleansing lotions. But I think this really won my heart over. Um, and this is something that I recently actually started using, but I feel like it won all the other cleansing oils that I used in 2023. This is from Ilso and it's called the Natural Mild Cleansing Oil. This has a very light, light texture. So um, if I do a blind test, you know, to be honest, I'm not gonna be able to figure out like what cleansing oil is what cleansing oil because you know what I'm saying, they have very similar like textures. But one thing is that it's freaking light and watery and it emulsifies really fast. So that's one thing that I like. After I put the oil on, I love it. If like the first splash of water, you feel like it's already gone, you know, like the oiliness of it. So I feel like a lot of people will really love this. And especially if you are someone that doesn't like cleansing oils, like especially for oily skin types, I think you guys will adore this one. It has like sesame seed oil. You can't smell that. It has anti sebum P and it has LHA. I can't really say that it helped a lot with exfoliating effect. Like I felt the LHA working, but overall it's just a really good cleansing oil. I have used this with really heavy makeup, really light makeup. So yes, this has worked beautifully for me in 2023. I did start using it towards the end, but I feel like this won over Banyo cleansing oil. For me personally, it won over like the Skin 104 and things like that. And that's saying a lot because those two are my like favorites and it it is one of the best uh, cleansing oils. So Irso is actually a brand that I didn't talk about too much before, but they focus on pores, pore care, oily skin types and things like that. If that's like your jam, you should definitely check out Irso. And I just splashed some cleansing oil on the bottom of my floor. Oh, and one more thing, it has like the lock, you know, the open close thingy. So this helped a lot when I was traveling. Okay, so moving on to second cleansers. Now, I don't like the packaging of this. I don't like anything of this except for like the inside. Even the brand, I don't use a lot of products from this brand, but I fell in love with this cleanser. John John John. This is Vlivli. Vlivli. It's the enzyme green tea powder cleanser, and I have the enzyme milk powder cleanser. I honestly can't see the huge difference between these two. Once again, if you did a blind test on me, I would not know what's what, but this just works beautifully. With enzyme powder washes, they are the best when it comes to sensitive skin types. If you're looking for especially a way to exfoliate your skin and you don't like a lot of products with, you know, like AHA or BHA or other like active ingredients, but you do want to exfoliate in a really gentle way, this is the way to go. When you go to a dermatologist, that's where I first got to know about enzyme powder washes. This is, this is a jam, okay, you guys? And you don't have to use these. You can use any type of enzyme powder washes out there. Really good ones, like that's well known that you can get easily globally are um, 
yeah, I don't even know if you could get Flibli in like global e-commerces. I will definitely check that out. But um, like pop bar recipe ones are really good. OG one is the Bio Strength Green Tea one. But the thing is, this one, the reason why this one over all of those is because the powder is so freaking soft. The green tea powder from Bioish Trend, I love it and I've been using it for years, ever since it launched. Like with every upgrade of like changing of the packaging and everything, I've been there. I've been through it. You know, I've been there, homies. But the thing is, sometimes I have to melt the powder down all the way. If not, when I do rub it on my skin, I can feel like the powder, the granules. But this one is just like baby powder. It's just like a perfect powder form that does not irritate your skin. It's so freaking soft itself. So even if I do just a few rubs, like, and I could do it directly on my skin and my skin will just feel beautiful. And one more thing with enzyme powder washes is that they're very, very similar. Like you're not gonna see a huge difference like between like, you know, this one and that one, to be honest with you. But enzyme powders, they all work really well. I haven't used one that it sucks, like to be honest with you. So yes, whatever you can find, I will find some alternative recommendations in the description below. But one thing is that a lot of people don't know this, this enzyme powder washes is activated by steam. So when you actually go to the germ or like skincare clinic and they use this, they actually use it like a mask. They put it in a bowl, they, you know, like make the bubbles with the like brush and water and then they put it on your face and then they steam you for like a minute or two or whatever. So the steam is what actually activates the enzyme powder washes to make sure that it removes the dead skin cells. So it's not about how much you rub it and things like that. You could actually apply the bubbles on your skin and just leave it for like a minute or two and you can, you know, like wash your hair, do whatever in the shower, and then you can rinse it off. So I personally love these. I use enzyme powder washes about one to two times a week. You can use it a little bit more. I've seen a lot of people use it like every night. So you do you, but kind of like play around with it to see like how much you want to use it. I really like the fact that when I do this, it disperses exactly the amount like recommended to use in one wash. But this, this enzyme powder wash is the best. I find myself always looking for these and always repurchasing these. And I'm gonna introduce you to one more cleanser because I don't use the Vlivli ones every single day. It is an exfoliating cleanser, so I don't add it into my routine every single day. This is what I've used every single day for morning and both night routine. This is good, man. I actually started using this because it was like number one on Olive Young for a very long time. And I think it still is these days. This cleanser is from Metapeel. It's the Metapeel Red Lacto Collagen Clear 2.0. This one is nice, man. It has a lot of exfoliating ingredients, but it's still gentle. I will use it for both day and night routine and it works beautifully. It does have a more of not a hydrating finish though. If you think about hydrating finish versus squeaky clean finish, it's right smack in the middle. So I personally really like to use it. I think I like it a little bit more in the hot and humid weather in the summertime, but even when the winter time, I just feel like this is a really, really good cleanser. And I love the price point. The price point makes this product so much better. And this is humongous. 300 milliliters, baby. Like you can't take it on the plane because it's so big, but this is so nice and you don't have to be stingy with it. I feel like you can just be generous and use it anywhere on your body and I love this one. And this is a cleanser that was really easy for me to pick for 2023 because it was something that I used the most. Oh my gosh, I'm already like sweating right now. <laughs> I don't know if it's the lights. I'm already so hot. I think I was on fire when I was talking about the cleansers. Before we move on, this is something that I talk about every freaking year, man, but it is that good. There's nothing that has beaten it yet. This is a Kiss Me Heroin Make mascara remover, speedy mascara remover, whatever, whatever your name is. I love you. And I don't know how many of you I've used, probably like more than 15 now or even 20. I love this. I always get like stocks and stocks after stocks. I always have them like a few stocked up in my vanity and I always get it on yes style. This is such a good way if your pet peeve is like, rubbing dried mascara like with cleansing oil or cleansing balm if that's your pet peeve like me this is so good this is a mascara remover you just leave it on or you just put it on like a mascara it emulsifies or breaks down like 
you know, like the mascara, the, the crusty little stuff. And then you can use your cleansing oil or I like to use lip and eye remover and then like take it off, but it's totally up to you. But there's nothing like this one that works really well. This is Japanese and I love it. Nothing tops this off. Sanitary wise, so I think it's not the best because after you use it, like of course you could rub it off a little bit, but you do put it back. So it does have like later down the line, it turns like gray and stuff like that so it is a little bit e but there is nothing like this one if one of your pet peeve is like me of rubbing the dry like mascara into your eyes and stuff like that okay so finally we're gonna move on to essences or toners i feel like because of toner pads and our love for toner pads toners have been neglected and i just is it just me? Yeah, for you too. I've been looking at my toner section and I'm like, oh my gosh, I felt so bad. I'm like, you guys, I forgot about you guys for a little bit. I feel like there are a lot of more toner pads that I want to introduce you than the toners. But my number one toner that I have for this video is right here, this baby. And it is the I'm From Rice toner. And I feel like it's like a love and hate relationship, to be honest with you. I've been using this toner ever since it launched. Um, six years like every year i feel like i come back to this one and to be honest with you sometimes i really don't like the silky like milky finish it has afterwards i mean my skin loves it but it's just me like personal preference i feel like i like light and refreshing toners but there's nothing like the i am from rice toner that hits my skin the right way you know like my skin just feels so nice after adding this into my routine especially when it's really dry and really like dehydrated and when it's cold season i feel like this is a bomb ass toner there's a reason why a lot of people really love it and it's been around for such a long period of time and you know fun story is when this first launched i used to be a full-time worker at wish Trend tv i remember we were getting like educated for each product when it launched and this product launched on wishtrend.com and we were given like this educational kind of like seminar and not a seminar but like a class um, to explain about this product like the formula the ingredients the behind the scenes I just feel like I know this product in and out and it's a really good product there's a reason why I think I go back to it recently for the past couple months I really really love this one so yeah I have to give this a shout out for 2023 and I felt like toner pads won over toners or essences you know what I'm saying so one toner pad I am absolutely in love with is the Brain Green Artemisia Sera Calming Moisture Toner Pad. And you know Brain Green is a brand that is under CJ, which CJ owns Olive Young. That's why when you go to any offline Olive Young, like in Korea, or online or the global site, you will see Bring Green. Of course, they can have it with a cheaper, like with more affordable price, you know what I'm saying? Um, and yeah, they have a lot of good formulas. I love the tea tree line. I love their Artemisia line. But personally for me, this is bomb. Like compared to any other toner pads, um, the material, I love this one. This has more of a very soft sponge-like texture, which I actually need right now. I'm gonna put this on because I'm so hot. I mean, I am hot, you know what I'm saying? But I am so hot today. I think it's the lights and I never really usually film with these kind of lights. So interesting. I absolutely love this. It just works beautifully. I feel like Mugworth, like Artemisia is an ingredient that is in a lot of K-beauty like um, products. And I just feel like this is the one in 2023. This was actually really easy for me to choose because this is something that I always love. And one thing that I stopped doing is actually rubbing my skin, like wiping it off with the toner pad. I feel like that has damaged my skin so much, especially because I have sensitive skin and when my skin barrier is broken, that's like the worst thing I think you can do. I know a lot of people love that feeling. I love it too, to be honest with you. And if you have normal skin or healthy skin, that's fine like once in a while. But me like rubbing the toner pad and like wiping everything off because it felt really good, that kind of ruins my sensitive skin. So that's one thing in 2024 that I'm not gonna keep on doing. But with that said, I feel like I love toner pads for this type of thing, of using it as a sheet mask almost. And this one, I do have to give a quick shout out. I actually don't have the product itself, 
But dude, I love this one. This is humongous. It's the Metapeel um, Lacto Collagen Double Tight Pad. They have a lot of good products from this line. They have the cream is good, their serum is good. Um, they have a wrapping mask, which is a really kind of interesting product because you leave it on and then it creates like this film and then you peel it off and it's just your skin is glowing and beautiful but any cowsies they have really good products but one thing that i forgot to mention is that this line also helps with pore care so it has a lot of clinical testings um that it really helps with your pore care to unclog it also helps to kind of shrink your pores as well so this one is amazing i don't have the pad itself but it's humongous and you could split it into half which is the best. I love toner pads that you can split into half. There's not a lot like that. So this one I did have to give a quick shout out. Okay, and then moving on, let's go to sheet mask because we did talk about toner pads and I do use it almost like a sheet mask. You guys, Ah, sheet masks, there were so many different sheet masks and it was really, really hard for me to choose the best one. One thing that I want to mention is when you sheet mask, it almost creates this beautiful like armor. It like, you know what I'm saying? It's like prepping your skin so that it's protected. And I just feel like morning sheet masking is something that I want to really highly recommend. If you do, of course, have the time on the weekends or maybe or things like that. But one thing that I, why was I talking about this by the way? Okay, so what I was trying to say is I wanted to encourage you to sheet mask. I feel like it's the easiest way, but it's a, such a good way to bring your condition back really fast. And with that said, you know the bulk sheet masks that brands have? They are bomb because price point wise, you don't have to be stingy with it. Like these sheet masks are expensive. So when you get the bulky ones, it just works beautifully because you don't have to be stingy with it. You can like use it whenever you want to. Now, it's really hard to find good ones in this bulky type because the sheet that they use is not as soft as the individually you know, packaged one and things like that. This year, I loved Mary and May's, especially the Idebenon one and the Hutuania Cordata one. I love those they are one of the best quality that i've tried but there is something that beat mary and me that's what i'm saying for 2023 it's really hard to just choose one you know but this has beat that this hits differently this is a brand that i've never tried i've used a few of their products but oh my god their bulk sheet mask i don't know why they don't have it on e-commerce yet like globally uh, I think people are gonna love it because I have never used a bulk sheet mask that hits like this. It's called Maybena and they have 30 sheets and it's 400 milliliters. So there's a lot of juice in here. You're gonna love it. I love the packaging and it does have a spatula inside. The only con is that this has a strong scent and it smells really good to be honest. Now I really love it, but it is a bit strong. That's the only con I would say, but yo, there's no other bulk sheet mask better than this one that I've tried. I feel like this has won everyone over. I feel like this is a champion of bulk sheet mask. I love this one. This one is Bombay. And one more sheet mask I have to mention is the Toradin one. So this is actually a collab product that they did with, a, with an influencer and her name is Sydney, I believe. And this just hits differently. Like it's called a Cell Amazing Collagen Firming Gel Mask from Toradin. They have this new line now that focuses more on like anti-aging, well-aging, skin elasticity and things like that. And it, it's so freaking good. And it's like a jelly-like texture that feels so amazing on your skin. When you put it on and you leave it for a certain period of time, you literally see the white sheet turning into clear like clear visible type because everything that's there is soaked into your skin when you take it off your skin literally feels like there's a filter like it is so beautiful and you feel like whatever was on the sheet it literally transferred onto your skin and it literally created this filter it is a little bit uh pricey compared to the other sheets but it just works beautifully there's peptides in here collagen there's a lot of good ingredients and i feel like it there's nothing that can beat it. Okay, so the next category of, oh my gosh, that's, that calmed my redness a lot. I love that. Okay, so the next one we're gonna talk about is serums and ampoules. I feel like this category was really easy because I just knew which ones I loved and I had to talk about with you guys, but it was hard because I can't choose one. So I didn't, I chose 
three, okay? Let's go with the very first one, man. VT. This one, I started loving it towards the end of the year, like maybe four, three months. But dang, boy, does this hit differently. If you compare this to any other ampoules or serums, this is just different. Like when you use this, you can see a clear difference the very next day. I feel like one of the best things about K-Beauty is like the fresh technologies and like the devices and everything. I feel like sometimes I'm like, oh, Oh my gosh, everything's so next level. And this product is something that I felt like it was next level. And um, this is called VT Riddle Shot. They have 50, they have 100, they have 300, they have 700. I do want to highly recommend if you could get your hands on 50, which is really hard to get. I know that it's not on Amazon yet, but I know 100 is. Please get your hands on 100. It just works beautifully. They do have this special technology called the Riddle Shot. You can think of it as like Sika needles and um, it's just within the product itself, which is smaller than your pores and you uh, put it on your skin oh, and then it starts stinging a little bit. You feel this kind of sensation, you're like, whoa, what's going on? Do I need to wash this off? A lot of my friends, even my mom, <laughs> when they first tried it, they called me up, you know? They're like, yo, what do I do right now? Is, is this something that's going wrong? Like, oh, hold on, do I need to call like 911? What's going on? Because you know, you're shocked. Not a lot of products does this. It does have a stinging kind of like tingling sensation. For some people, they can't even feel it. But for me, I can feel the tingling sensation. And usually if it's your first time for beginners, you can definitely feel it. But um, all the little like riddle shot, you can't even see it with your eyeballs, but this actually gets eliminated with your dead skin cells. So you don't have to worry about it. You don't have to uh, wash it off, but you do leave it on and you just go to sleep. You can put on other products afterwards. The next morning, man. You're like, oh my gosh, thank you, Uni and me for this recommendation. That's what you're gonna tell me. You're gonna DM me. You're gonna be like, Onni, why are you gatekeeping this? Like, why didn't you tell me about this sooner? That's what I was thinking when I first tried it. And I wanna highly recommend it, especially if you're like, nothing is hitting. Like, nothing is changing my skin. I feel like I need something like, um, um. I need that some, some. You know what I'm saying? If you're like that, I feel like, you will love this one. And I had to talk about this serum. This is so good. I've been using this all year for 2023, even before, but the Ice Weight Blemish Care Up Serum is just man. In Korean, it's like a little slang for saying it's like, it's just really easy going. It's like, you can use it like that or that or like that or that. It's exactly what it is. I love this serum. I just wish it was a little bit cheaper or like, but it has good quality ingredients and stuff, you know? So I do understand. And the packaging is really nice, expensive. When you get it, it's very bougie and it's glass. And I wanna highly recommend it for my teen unicorns or someone with sensitive skin type that's looking to um, brighten up your dark spots, sunspots, and your blemishes. I feel like this does it in the best way, but in the gentlest way. And it might take some time for you to see the results. You can't see drastic results right off the bat. Please try adding it into your routine. This just is so good, especially for brightening serum, but it's gentle and effective. Okay, so we're gonna move on to this product right here also. I feel like this kind of sits in between a serum or an ampoule or a moisturizer because it does contain high oil content. It does feel really kind of oily or greasy afterwards. I'm not gonna lie, the feeling of it, I think, especially during the hot summer, I'm not gonna really love, but it is so good for your skin. You know, sometimes we have this thought, I also did as well because I have acne prone skin. I sometimes felt like if something feels too heavy or too oily, it's gonna break me out. Like no matter what, it's, that's what would broke me out. But that's actually not the case. Even if, if you have acne prone skin, our skin does need oil. And sometimes our skin is so dehydrated um, that it creates more excessive sebum to actually form like a protective layer to make sure that our skin uh, is not dehydrated. So it might send the wrong message to your brain saying, Create more oil, create more oil. So I think it's like a bad unending cycle. Sometimes if you just use only light texture serums, because we do need good oils uh, for our skin as well. Um, this one is so lovely. Even if you have acne prone skin, if your skin feels a little bit dehydrated, you guys try this one. This is Crave Beauty Oil La La. I love the name. It's just so like catchy and I love that. I don't know who, who came up with that, but that's a really good name. This is so nice. It even says it's like oil serum for breakouts, 
but not just for breakouts i just feel like it's a really really good like serum or ample if you do want to add it into your routine and that's actually the step that i do use it at you can actually use this at the end of the routine if you want but it's recommended i think to use as a very first step or like as a serum and stuff like that i like to use it after my toner step as a serum slash ample and then moving on to my moisturizer some days i feel like it's like rich enough that i don't have to use a moisturizer so yes this one if you are looking for something with a heavier oil content but that will be good for even acne prone skin i really need you guys to try this this is so bombay okay so next category that i am obsessed with that i have to talk about is something that works for your sebaceous filaments for me i always have to use something for my sebaceous filaments right here t-zone butterfly zone even right here i break out the most and right here one of my pet peeve is when i put makeup on and you could see like the sebaceous filaments like yelling your name like uni 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 i'm here i Mm, it's one of my pet peeves like skincare pet peeves that I have so one thing that is perfect to add into my routine about once or twice a week is these patches I've used the first thing that I fell in love with the CMP after CMP I think I fell in love with Mary and May and these days I am using the Ilso one but I have to introduce you to both of them let me explain why okay so if I have to choose, this is it. Like in 2023, I loved Mary and May one. They have two different steps. So this is the safe blackhead clear mask. And then you have the soothing pore tightening mask. I love these, you guys. First, it comes with like the clearing mask. And then it comes with another mask to calm your pores afterwards. Mary and May's, the formula is so amazing that after you put it on, it, you're done. After you take it off, you're done. Your sebaceous filaments are literally like, oh, okay, I'm already done with my job. And then you can just move on to the second one. So that's why I love it. It does come with Q-tips, so you can roll it afterwards after your first step, and that works as well. But you feel like you don't even need the Q-tip because everything is gone. Like you're like, oh my gosh. And it's still my number one. However, the Ilso one is a little bit different. It does come with step one and step two same thing step one is actually the mask that helps to remove all the sebaceous filaments and then the two is to calm it down this one is different because when you actually take it off you could see all the sebaceous filaments clearly and it's like ready for you to remove it's like ready for you it's like screaming your name it's right there at you so it's so easy for you to kind of remove with your q-tip so both i feel like it's kind of different but i love they both work very well so that's actually the difference that it has but i really loved both of them if i have to choose one i would definitely go with mary and may because it just makes my life easier okay so before we move on to moisturizers i did want to talk about one exfoliator that I absolutely loved um, i recently talked about this in a uh, video if you haven't seen it please do check it out right here this uh, it says that it's a toner so you can use it as a toner but i like to use it as a toner slash exfoliator i think that's one of the best ways to use it that's why i want to introduce it in the exfoliator section this is from meditherapy and meditherapy is a brand that i actually talked about just once recently on my channel meditherapy has so many cool products like oh my gosh there's like this cream um it's packaged with a freaking led like vibration device um, that you can use for your skin within the cream they do have another sheet mask for wrinkle care and you apply it and you use this roller to just work at every like small creases of your wrinkles and that's also amazing that's actually the way that i got to know about meditherapy they just have a lot of spa level products that you can use at the comfort of your home so I feel like, yes, this is actually one of the ones that I absolutely adored. Of course, I feel like the active ingredients, the percentage will be different. But when I used to get acne treatments um, at the germ, this is very similar to the one that they used. They used also a swab almost um, with exfoliating ingredients like BHA. And then they rubbed it like on my acne and things like that. And this works beautifully. It comes with two different sides like this as well. It has a swab and you can um, soak in all the goodness from the toner uh, the formula and then you do it all over your face and then you can do it on specific areas that you really want to target 
I love this. I feel like this is actually one of the best exfoliators that I've discovered in 2023. But if you are someone that has acne prone skin and you do want to add BHA into your routine, I feel like this works beautifully. They do recommend to use it as the toner step, but you can use it after your toner, like um, as a serum step. And you don't have to rub it off, you know? You don't have to remove it. All right, guys, let me talk about eye cream and one oil before we move on to a moisturizer. Okay, so I am that kind of person. I'm going to be honest. I still, every like dermatologist I meet, every like professional I meet, I always like research, do I really need an eye cream? Just to be honest with you. I mean, if the if my serum or ample has really great ingredients for wrinkle care, do I really need to purchase an eye cream? I feel like like is it a must i always have that question so i'm actually doing a video with boj um and the results are not out yet but i am using their revive eye serum chinsen plus retinol i'm using it every single day and i am going to be using it for four weeks one month and i'm going to be able to see the results we know that retinol is good for you, right? In the video, I'm going to talk about if retinol is better or retinol is better. I'm going to talk about what makes this so special with their um, liposum technology and things like that. Dang, this is so freaking good. I used it all over my face. To be honest with you, I can't really tell like if it helped the eye area because we need to see like physical clinical testing results, you know? I can't really visually see, but with my overall skin, I feel like my skin's more plumped. And before I started using this product, I haven't used a retinol product like consistently over a certain period of time. So this is actually my first time using a retinol product for like more than like four months or whatever. Now it's only been three weeks, but I could see it. Like I could really see it with my eyeballs and I cannot wait to see the results. Um, but anyways, stay tuned in for that video. And I don't know who you are and I don't know what you did, but you're, you're amazing. So beauty of Joseon, good job, good job. Okay, so before we move on to a moisturizer, I feel like I should talk about moisturizer first and then this, but I will go on with this right here. So my very first love was Dear Claire's. I love Claire's because I used to work for Wish Trend, um, uh, Wish Company, Wish Trend TV, like full time. That was the very first product that I encountered and fell in love with. And I tried every single product from the brand and I fell in love, especially hashtag skin sensitivity, irritation, redness, whatever. If you guys have similar concerns as I do, I'm sure that you love clears as well. So that was like my first love. And then like my second love was Rovectin. Like Rovectin was a brand that I fell in love with. I started talking, raving about it in every single video. And then they reached out to me. Provectin is one of the brands that I tried every single one of the product and I loved all of the formula. Like it worked beautifully for my skin. And there's not too many brands that I could say I loved every single one of the products. But any cowsy. So with Rovectin, this oil is the same formula as the one before, but it looks different. It has a new packaging and it has a new name. That's why some people do get confused, but it's the same formula as the one that I always introduced every year. I think I probably chose this. It's actually now the Rovectin Intense Moisturizing Glow Oil. Um, but the formula, ingredients, everything is the same except for the packaging and the name. So please do keep that in mind. If you are looking for a really good quality oil, please try this baby. It just works beautifully. It works good for my acne prone skin. It has sunflower seed oil, squalane. It also has orange flower oil and beautifully. It does have a very thick texture, I would say. So you can add one to two like drops with your moisturizer if like using um, oil straight up like feels kind of iffy for you. Sometimes I like to kind of rub a few drops and then just to finish off like that. Anyway, so if you're looking for a good oil, this is amazing. Um, you might be like, huh, what is this new oil from Rovectin? But it's the same formula, same, same, same formula, but different packaging and different name. All right, guys, finally, let's move on to moisturizers. And then we're going to finish off with 2023's favorite sunscreen. I have two moisturizer favorites right here. Okay. So because I have oily T-zone and I have dry U-zone, I'm going to talk about this one here. I think I talked about this so many times throughout 2023. This is something that I go back to when I start breaking out. This is something that I use for my T-zone. This is something that what I use if I know the very next day I have a live streaming and I know I'm, I have to like, what, like, you know, rub my makeup off and I have to show them my raw face and I don't want breakouts. This is what I go to. This just works beautifully. And this is not talked about enough. 
This is the Medicube Red Cream, and I do believe that they have upgraded. And it is beautiful for acne prone skin. It is beautiful for oily skin type, man. Um, this has botanical oils, it has tea tree oil. Um, this has been clinically proven to improve acne like 84%. And I'm like behind that. Um, I don't know what they did to it, but I love this. If you're still looking for a good moisturizer you can benefit from, I feel like this is the way to go. Speaking of Medicube, I will talk about a device. I totally forgot. Okay, should we talk about the device right now? Let's just do it. Okay, you guys, so I have it right here. Onni has it, okay? Now, I started testing this out because I need to give you a review right off the bat. This is gonna be actually launching in February, end of February-ish, like the team told me. This is the newest device from Medicube. It is the HR Booster Pro, baby. So this has actually six of the devices in one. So it's six in one device, except it doesn't have the radio frequency one. However, so many of my unicorns asked me, only is ATS Airshot better? Even my friends from the States, like they're like sending links from my videos. They're like, so which one am I supposed to get? You know, they all have different functions. So I'm going to do an in-depth review about this, you guys. And it's going to be epic. And everything is upgraded. Like for example, the ATS Airshot, Usually we had to do it in like tapping motion or like different motions and things like that. But now I heard that like you can just do like, you can touch one of the sides and just go like that and it works or something like that. So guys, please don't buy it yet. I'm gonna have a in-depth review for you guys, like maybe towards end of February-ish. So save your money and um, they're gonna have like probably launching promos and things like that. So stay tuned in and I will do a full in-depth review on this. Okay, so let's move on to back to the moisturizer. Okay, now let me talk about a moisturizer for my dry skin, dehydrated skin, mature skin. I feel like there's not a lot of good creams out there, but this one is so freaking good. It's so freaking heavy though. If you don't like heavy textures, I don't know, but oh my goodness, my mom loves this one. My mother-in-law loves this one. For dry winter, this one just does it all. This is Isoys Intensive Energizing Cream X. I don't think I discovered a cream that's as good as this one, especially for dry mature skin. It just hits differently and it's just so elegant. Isoy has really good packagings as well. And this one as well, it's like in glass. And they have the signature scent of like the rose scent, which smells beautiful. And it's just elegant. The texture, the packaging, the formula, and your skin just feels beautiful afterwards. And I just feel like every time I use it, I just feel more elegant and I feel like, you know, like a very like luxurious ajuma, you know, with like her hair band and like doing her night routine and like in her fancy vanity, you know what I'm saying? It is a bit pricey though. Isoy, like that's one thing about Isoy. Some of the products are pretty pricey, but I feel like it's worth it, especially this cream. You don't need a large amount. A small amount goes a long way. But anyways, you guys can get it on Amazon, I believe, and, and, and Olive Young probably in other stores. I'll link everything in the description below. So yes. All right guys, so we are here and we're gonna talk about the very last product, which is sunscreens. This was really hard because, let me just be honest, I think the sunscreen that I use the most, to be honest, is Round Lab and BOJ this year. I feel like no matter if I discovered other ones, I would just come back to it. But there is one sunscreen that I think I won my heart over because of the packaging. The formula itself is very similar. It, the texture, how light it is, how lotiony it is, how emulsiony it is. It doesn't even feel like sunscreen. They're all good in the hood. But Skin 104, the packaging makes it so much easier. The other Round Lab, uh, BOJ one, usually other sunscreens, they have like the twist thing, the caps, right? But this one from Skin 104, it's always like boop, boop. So easy and you're done with it. And I just think it makes your life a little bit easier. And I feel like in this hard knock life, you are looking for stuff that makes your life a little bit easier, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, they have so many great products, but one of the best is the sunscreen and love the packaging. And I love the sun stick that they came out with as well, the size, how beautiful the formula is and everything. So I do want to give my uni award 
um, of sunscreen of 2023 to Skin 104. I didn't even say the name of it. Um, I don't think I even said all the names of all the products. The Centella Hailu Sika Water Fit Sun Serum, and this is SPF uh, 50 plus, PA plus plus plus. All right, guys, thank you for hanging out with me. I hope that you enjoyed the 2023 Uni Awards. I did cheat a little bit because I had more than one product for a certain category, but you understand, right? Um, yes, so hope you guys enjoyed. And I also want to know what your favorite products were in the comments below. Um, one thing that I did want to mention and say thank you to you guys is you know, I was looking back in my all my calendar because I'm a freelancer and YouTube is my main job. It's my full time job now. I feel like um, during July and during um, the holidays like uh, October, December, November and stuff like that. There were a lot of sponsored videos and I just want to say thank you guys so much for understanding because I know that at times like it's not the best to see you know so many sponsored videos you know but I did want to say thank you so much for understanding this is my full-time job I do have full-time employees and please do remember that I do only talk about products that I really have reviewed for a certain period of time that I really love and I feel like is proven that is good enough for me to be able to share on my channel so in 2024 I'm gonna be doing more vlogs. Of course, I'm gonna be doing more skincare videos, but I will try to create more content that can be helpful for you guys and also give you recommendations that I feel like you guys will absolutely love and that is worth talking about. So thank you guys so much for another year. Thank you for supporting my channel. Happy New Year's to every single one of you. I know it was a very tough year and it still is, but I hope that everybody is safe and I love you guys so much and sending you all my positive energy from Korea. Love you guys and see you guys in the next one. Bye! Happy New Year's everyone! Annyeong!